What's up, you certified beauties? Nick here from Nick's Taxes, back with another video. Letting you know that today, Monday, you can now apply for another CRB application period and get your government paycheck, $1,000 or $900 after taxes, of course. Now this is period number nine of 13 periods that you're eligible for. Again, this runs for 26 periods, but you can only apply for 13. So this period runs from January 17th to January 30th, and the earliest you can apply is Monday, February 1st. Now I'll run through again the process of who can apply for this period, and that way you understand what's going on, and you can get ready to apply today and get your $900 as soon as possible. Here's the el eligibility criteria. You have to meet all the following conditions for the two week period that you're applying for and you have to meet this criteria for the entire two weeks. If you only met this criteria for one of the two weeks then you can't apply for period nine or whatever period you're applying for. Okay so during the period you were not employed or self-employed for reasons related to COVID or you had a 50% reduction in your weekly average income compared to the previous year due to COVID. You did not receive any of the other following benefits like the sickness benefit, caregiving benefit, disability, EI, or QPIP. I'm getting a lot of questions actually asking me, hey, do I apply for CRB or EI? If you qualify for EI, then you need to apply for EI. This is for people who don't qualify for EI. If you don't know if you qualify for EI, go check out the Canada website and figure it out. Um, here it is, obviously, that's one of the criteria. And then you have to reside in Canada. Also had to be present in Canada and at least 15 years of age or older. A valid SIN, social insurance number, and earned at least $5,000 in 2019 or in 2020 or in the 12 months before the date you apply from either employment, net self-employment, or maternity and parental benefits from EI or similar QPIP benefits. Okay, you did not quit your job or reduced your hours voluntarily. You had to have been seeking work during this period, either as an employee or as a self-employed individual. And you can have turned down reasonable work during this two week period, okay? There's actually a penalty if you refuse reasonable work. If you're not eligible for CRB, there's some other options out there and I encourage you to check those out online. There's a link uh, and you can figure out if you apply or not, or if you qualify. The CRA might verify your eligibility to see if you actually do qualify for these benefits. And you can get $1,000 before taxes withheld for this two week period. So the actual payment you'll get is $900. Remember, they withhold 10%, but it's likely that your taxable income uh, is going to make your tax rate higher than 10%. Alrighty, if you have any other questions, uh, you can let me know in the comments below, but this is the criteria for the CRB. To figure out how to apply, you can go um, online to your CRA My Account or you can call the CRA and do it that way. Either way is good. I'd encourage you to set up direct deposit uh, and they say you can get your money within three to five business days and that's quicker than getting a paper check mailed to you. So I'd encourage you to set up direct deposit if that's option for you. Also, we talked about last week that uh, you can't have traveled voluntarily for leisure during this period as well. So that's a new restriction and Trudeau has announced some new travel restrictions. Uh, so that might play into your CRB eligibility going forward. But that's it really for, for this period. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Do not message me personally. I will not answer those questions. Uh, I only deal with questions in the comments um, as I get ready for tax season. I don't handle that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna be putting out some new videos talking about how to input your CERB and your CRB income and your EI income um, into tax softwares. So if you're doing taxes yourself, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned and subscribe uh, to follow along for those videos to learn how to do your taxes yourself. 
and make sure that you enter in your CERB income properly. So stay tuned for that. Um, and that'll be in the next couple weeks. I will release that as the tax softwares finalize uh, their softwares for 2020. And we'll go from there. Alrighty, and that is today's video. I'm Nick from Nick's Taxes. If you got value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, I will see you guys in the next video. As always, happy taxing.